Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I have part four of the how to make an admin panel series and stuff like that. If I'm talking low, it's like 12 in the morning and stuff when I'm recording this video and stuff. But yeah, so I got part four. So in this video, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a shutdown. Like you can shut down the server. You can refresh people's characters. Um, or uh, what's the last one? Oh, and you can give out tools and stuff like that, right? Um, two of these uh, ideas were suggested to me by my subscribers. One was Fountainity. Uh, the idea was to add a refresh command for the admin panel series. Then Canadian ID, which suggested uh, for the admin panel to add certain tools that admin slash co-owners slash owners can get and stuff like that. So shout out to both of them for the uh, for the ideas and stuff like that. Because yeah, all right, let me make this video come to life. I mean, come to life. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so. We, we head on over to replicate a storage, right? We're gonna need two remote events. We're gonna need the command event and the staff member verify event. Remember, the command event is what we're firing and stuff when we like, if we're using a local script to run a command, like if we need a local and a server script for a command, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Then the staff member verify event is every time a player clicks a certain key, it opens up the admin panel, right? So boom. Then in server storage, um, you're gonna need a tool because remember I am showing you guys how to make a give thing so you can just have a little tool It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to have a handle or anything Then of course you're gonna need your admin panel GUI. I'll show you guys what mine looks like. Here's what mine looks like pretty simple And I'll break down everything. So this oh sorry not this script Oh, what's it called? So this is just a player list frame if you see you guys should have watched the other three So you should know might not how it goes. But yeah, so we have to give Textbook, this is pretty much how, how we use the give. Um, I will explain that in a second, but I will explain refresh and shut down. So refresh is extremely simple. So when a player, I mean, when the staff member clicks the uh, button and stuff for a refresh button, it will search uh, all the players to find someone who matches the uh, character, like, or user ID, I should say, um, that matches up, and then it'll load character, which in essence refreshes the character, resets it, whatever you want to call it, right? So that's refresh, right? And that's a server script under refresh button and yeah all the scripts will be in the description but yeah and then we have the shutdown script which is extremely simple we just get all the players in the server we kick them all and say this server has been shut down we join if you guys wanted to make it a little more fancy you could be like this server is shutting down you could use like a 4i uh equals one comma uh zero i mean 4i equals 10 comma zero comma negative one and then have like a wait one second in between and like have it count down in a way if you want me to show you guys how to make that i can show you off but yeah well actually don't have a video on that so you have to go watch that but anyway so yeah this is our shutdown it's extremely simple right then we have our give so it's a text box where you type the tool you select the player you want to give the tool to so you can give stuff to yourself as well and then you uh will just type the name of the tool press enter and then boom and then it fires the requested item right to the server and we are done here by the way make sure you have everything set to visible and enabled right since we'll be we'll keep it but make sure it's in server storage though make sure the gui is in server storage <clears throat> and then we head on over to server script service oh sorry not service script service. let's head on down here start a player start a player scripts and i'm in pen opener <clears throat> right so here it's extremely simple here is how we enable the um admin panel at least locally right this this detects um when like the user's input like for this i chose le left alt you guys can change this to literally whatever you want it doesn't even matter like yeah that's what i went with so pretty simple make sure it's in the starter player scripts and that it and that it is a local script then you head over here to the main handler we have my username you would just have all your stuff here like i don't know here like you would just add in a name right we have our two events in the gui then we have our Pico, which searches the table to see if the name the username matches uh, any of the people on the script or in the table, I should say, right? Then it, this is just a double check. And then here, uh, this is the verification event where every time a player presses, presses Alt, if they can find set player's name in the table, it will then clone the GUI uh, over, to the, over to the set player and it will, and then yeah, it'll give them, the, uh, it'll give them a leaderboard of all the players and stuff, right? So then they can select them and do whatever they need to do, right? So yeah, then here, we have done here, where uh, this is this is the last 
part of the give command, right? We're pretty much we have the target, and then we ser we're searching server storage to see if the requested item matches any of the names within server storage. And if it does, it will then clone said tool, and it will name it uh, after the tool it was cloned after, like the original will say. Then we will search all the players, and we will find what player matches the target ID. So then we can parent the, the clone tool. I mean the cloned tool over to the player, the designated player's backpack, so that they can essentially have the tool. And yeah, that's that's it. Pretty simple and stuff. Explain in like five minutes and stuff. Pretty simple. This video holds up the two subscribers who asked for it. And yeah, I can go ahead and open up by pressing left alt and let's go ahead and test it, right? Um, I can refresh myself. I know you guys can't really see it, but I know you guys can obviously see it, like I'm obviously moving and like my screen like it obviously changes. I know you guys can see that obviously, so yeah. I'm, I'm refreshing myself then uh, we can give myself a tool I can do tool or sensor boom I have a tool right and then to shut down the server shut down boom you were kicked from this experience the server has been shut down right boom that's simple hope this video was helpful to my two subscribers who requested it appreciate y'all for the uh, for the suggestion shout out to y'all for sure uh, what's it called thank you guys for watching leave a like and subscribe if this video was helpful thank you guys once again for 400 subscribers we're at 404 let's Keep it going, 96 more to 500. Let's keep it going. We have with a thousand. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Y'all should for sure join the Discord server. We got like about two people joining, like about every day, every other day and stuff. It's like we in the 70s right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we close to 100. We moving type shit. You feel what I'm saying? And so for sure join. Literally, y'all can say all the day one type shit. You feel me? But yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching and stuff. And yeah, uh, leave a like, subscribe if the video was helpful. And I'll see you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching.